It is I, Terrible Selbor, here with an amazing and uh, continuation of One Way Ticket, a visual novel available on Nintendo Switch. Very easy visual novel, I should say. I think it's pretty easy. The translation is a little rough, but whatever. This is part five. If you want to uh, watch it from the beginning, it is a novel after all, so you should consider, you know, reading it from the start. It's not like Harry Potter. I mean, it's not. I don't know. Whatever. It's a novel. What do you want? So uh, this is part five. So if you want to see part one, check out the link in the description or the card that should magically appear at some point um, that will take you to uh, part zero, which is the actual start. So otherwise, I'm just going to smooth on forward. Let's do it. All right. So Makino, main character. What? Oh. Mr. Ryder. Oh, it's Little Angel. Yeah, it's me. What are you doing here? I throw small things into the sea in a moving ship because I want to see whether the ripple will may do any difference in that way. Profound. Are you collecting materials? That's right. Little an little little an angel, uh, you must be tired the first day on the ship. Go to sleep. I'm not very tired. A little bit excited for the first time at sea. Yeah, I am very excited. And once again, it like slowed the tech speed down, which is kind of annoying. Okay, let's go back. Uh, well, sir, I didn't have time to, to ask. I'm Hamakino. May I have your name? Oh, yes. What is your name? Uh, Yagaku Shindo, little angel. Now you should be satisfied. I, I'm not that satisfied. It's, I don't know who you are. Well, my girlfriend told me it's the most basic intimate way for association to know the name of each other, but I'm not so good at it. I can't remember others' name. I'm still working on that. Uh, yeah. All right. Name. Just some code of body. No need to care about. I, I disagree. I feel like there's more to a name. Cam, I'm not noministically determinative here, but girlfriend must be a demon, I guess. Oh, my God. Even you are a misogynist. Oh, my God. Everyone on this ship is terrible. Uh, what are you talking about? Hearing Mr. Shindo comparing Shiori to a demon, I was annoyed, as well you should be. But considering his deeds, I didn't want to have a clash with him. Also, I think he's just trying to be clever. Like, there's this total incel vibes on this guy. Uh, you're a little angel. Your girlfriend is a little demon for sure. Yeah, okay, whatever. An angel doesn't have relationship with another angel. If necessary, he will only choose a demon. Okay, tradition... Why is the text going so slow? Traditionally, stories unfold like this. Well, I certainly don't agree. She is a perfect girl in this world. She is sweet and considerate. Sure, yeah. Oh, really? Shiori. I think I once heard this name. I don't know. Maybe it's as common as, like, Johnson. I don't know. Uh, forget it. Even an angel will be confused by appearance. Love affects everyone. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Maybe you'll never understand. It's a pity. Totally a weirdo. I kind of like the fact that he's just throwing shit off the boat into the ocean. That's kind of cool. It's a, it's a hardcore thing to do. Oh, those two, those two guys. Okay, yeah, it is Yuna. All right. So, Yuna, this time we have only two mates, and you choose Night Shift. You really do a lot. I'm okay about that, but you... The IMO requires no less than three mates. You even dare cheat on that. Oh... Mate got all this done. He talks sweetly and well connected in the company. Oh, so they're skirting the they're skirting the rules. The I don't know what the IMO is, the International uh, Marine Organization. I don't know. I suppose these sailors are all recruited by him. Did none of them are capable? Leave other things alone. Ignore company's regulations. He dares to do that. You must also get benefited. Hey. Nothing can escape your eyes. Yeah, Yakote is totally skimming off the top. If they're like under crude and yeah, this is this is a recipe for success right here. Cutting corners out at sea. What's the worst that could happen? I've had a check. So the air conduit, auxiliary engine on the ship are all updated. Yes, but why not put into operation only for decoration? And eh, every ship is eager to fish. We'll gain nothing if we set out late, so we fail to prepare in a hurry. So like it has a modern like air system, but like it is not working. Not right. You have to handle official inspection, so you're forced to update, and you just leave them saving money. Uh, and you just leave them to saving money, but not put into operation? No. And today, those new sailors, they're not qualified for Seaman's book exam. 
All unregistered workers who sneaked in. Oh, wow. So those guys are undocumented workers. So that's probably why they took them on in the sea, is they, they don't want to pay them as much. Oh, Yakode. Uh, Kazuki, you got it. Oh, oops, missed it. Fine, I will open the auxiliary engine, but new uh, air conduit unavailable without new venting machine, which I assume means like an HVAC system. For Roy, you don't understand. It can uh, reduce costs, so every sailing earns much, so much. It's very common on every ship. Uh, Furoya still looked at sea, didn't turn around. He opened his wine bottle and took a sip. Am I like, is 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 Makino watching this, or is this like just unfolding? Because so far everything's been from Makino's point of view. Company doesn't adventure much in this ship. You voluntarily become their accomplice. Oh, just stop. For so many years, you're still not sophisticated. Always the same words. So it has been so many years. <laughs> Such great pause. <laughs> well, I planned to... <laughs> so many years. Oh, okay, anyway. I planned to make you my mate. Why refuse me? Don't you feel wronged? Wronged? No. I don't care about position. I just want to see the sea again. Uh-oh, this is an old man in love with the sea. Enough, but a guy like him makes plan for you. It's really disturbing. Uh, a guy like who? Okay, I guess we'll find out. Uh, I I don't know if Makino saw that or what. I don't know if it's relevant. Hey, you, okay. You, 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 you. Oh, I'm okay. You. Uh, drink some water. Don't get dehydrated. No, no, no. Gonna vomit if I drink. It's the fifth time today. Vomiting? Use a tissue to clean your mouth. I saw them vomiting on the deck. It's natural for a rookie sailor. Yeah. Last night, I seldom fell asleep. Yeah. My freaking room is so close to the engine, really noisy. Oh, so close to the engine. And the smell of machine oil, I still feel you. Okay. Yeah, the tech speed. What the heck? Can how improve tech speed? Just a sec. Okay. You seem all right. Uh. What? Okay. I used to work at sea while I served in the military. Okay. What is happening to the controls here? Just a moment. Oh my goodness. Uh, hmm. Well, sometimes this happens with games that are not well translated, so I'm not familiar with what the author actually wants me to do here. Uh, Mr. Root, you were once a soldier. Many people think they aren't seasick, but that's uh, but that's coastal. In a further place, no one can withstand can stand if waves hit. Okay, there we go. Now it's moving again. Where I served in the military, if a child didn't study well, he would be forced to work on a ship one day, and his score got much better after coming back. Oh, okay. Captain. Uh, see, and then sometimes it won't let me, like, pull the text out. That's so weird. There are two persons, not our guys. Wait, what? Two per? You're on a boat. Like, everybody's your guys. Except for that little boy I saw earlier. But that's not really relevant. I'm sure he's fine. What? No, not, not one of us. What happened? Go, let's have a look. You you okay? I'm fine. Let's go. Yeah, so makino has been really sick. I think he's uh, he's getting seasick and vomiting everywhere because he's gross. Whoa, there's just two people. Who the hell are you? Show yourselves. I never thought I would find a woman and a child in a container that was supposed to contain goods. Okay, yeah. Look, uh, one might say it's a goods container. Okay. Uh, looking closely, the child to see beamed to be like the one I met before in the warehouse that you didn't tell anyone about and didn't think about. Okay. What do we got? We got, uh, Chef Iwata. Uh, Captain, I found these two jerks hiding in the box. Please check, sir. Oh, wow. Uh, it's low pixel count, Captain Yakode. <laughs> oh, my God. What happened here? <laughs> Who the hell are you? Uh, why are you on my ship? Uh, so many people here. Mr. Chef, you know nothing about caring women. You just drag me out of the box like that. Uh, I mean, you are a stowaway on a fishing boat. Like, I don't know what you expect. Uh, hmm. My surname is Yuki. Because uh, we got lost during our trip, it was already late, and there were no trolley bus nor metro. 
We had no shelter, then we found a port and decided to hide in a container for the whole- That is a very suspicious story. Yes, we couldn't find a bus, so uh, I decided we would sleep in a, on a container on a boat. And also the boat has been out at sea for like a day and a half at this point. So pretty sure that, that that's a sus story. Next morning we got up and found the container was already on the ship and the ship had set out, so we end up here. Okay. Uh, low pixel Yakode says bullshit. It's the second day of sailing. Well, see, he knows. He knows. <laughs> why the? Why don't you fucking show yourselves earlier? Yeah, why not? Uh, because the container was blocked by others. No one heard us, though we shouted. Well, that's not true. We know that's not true because the boy was out. So, Yuki's lying. Just lying to the captain. That's a very bad thing to do. Well, maybe. I don't know. The captain's lying to sailors, so what are you going to do? All right. Uh, today the containers block it or move, so we got a chance to get out. Okay. Yeah. Bullshit. What a, f what a funny shit. Yes, what a funny shit. It's lucky we haven't gone far. I'll ask other ships nearby to send you back. You fucking stay here. <laughs> you must cover the time wasted and fuel when we return. Uh... Uh, we don't want to leave the ship. Besides, we have no money. Oh, okay, so that may be why you would, like, try and stay on a boat. But, mm, I... <laughs> suspicious. There's already been, like, a crazy, uh... There's, like, a cook who, like, had a mental breakdown. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. What? <laughs> I just observed. It's a fishing ship. No problem. Once worked on a fishing ship. I can do that. Ha 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 Are you kidding? A woman and a child want to fish? You think you go ocean-going fish for fun? Yes, I do think that. I always, I always want to fish, and there's finally a chance for me. I'm very diligent, I and I need and need no pay. Just offer food and board. Okay. All right, stop. There's no idea why I can make a stupid, I, ah, a stupid decision like staying on the ship. Uh, yeah, second mate. Let's do it. Let alone you're not authorized to stay on the ship. Well, no, no, no one's questioning that. Woman and a child, you can't even ensure your own safety at sea. Well, maybe the maybe the woman can. A kid? No way. Not happening. A kid's not gonna make it. A kid's gonna fall off the boat and die. There'll be so many subsequent problems. We all get screwed if they're exposed. Yeah, because there's probably a lot of regulations. We've got a lot to deal with. Don't be whimsical. Just get down as told. Hit by this, I suddenly became dazed. Uh, silence. Beg the captain to keep them. Uh, well, it's a time decision, so I'm going to beg the captain to keep them. Uh, yeah, me, inexperienced crew member who has never been to sea before. Uh, oh, w uh, uh, well, I think, since they want to stay on the ship, it's totally not impossible. We have enough food and room, and it's not difficult for you, sir. Oh, mm, mm, -mm. uh, Makino, you're, uh, you're cruising for a bruising right there. <laughs> what? <laughs> who the hell are you? You dare order me. You dare take in people that you don't know their background? Ooh, see, he's got points for all they know. She's a terrorist. <laughs> she could be a she could be a radical uh, Greenpeace terrorist and blow up the fishing boat, and rightly so. Anyway, all right, I'll broadcast the ships preparing to return nearby. Yuna, go find them and a place to stay. Don't affect the others. Uh, Mr. Captain, please listen to me. Ah, what? Yuki came to whisper in the captain's ear, and she said, I know what you're up to. The girl who suddenly appeared uh, really surprised us. The second mate and chef shook their heads, whispering why there were so many strange things and weirdos on the ship. This is a boat of fools. This is a ship of fools. All right. I looked around and found different expressions on the face of everyone. You know, a spe can I see them? No? Okay. Especially the Silver Spoon Fujiwara and the Gorilla Odate. Uh, um, okay, so I I disagree. I think the implication is that Fujiwara is, like, really rich and is, like, used to luxury. Uh, while it's true that he didn't like the shampoo, the guy is clearly, like, a greaser, like a street punk. I, I, I just don't think that that's an apt description. And calling someone a gorilla is not really nice unless they literally are a gorilla. Odate is just really ripped, man. Uh, you know, he's just, he's just a swole guy. Um, they seemed hungry like wolves see a lamb eager to catch their prey. Oh, gross. Yeah, I was like, oh, lady. <laughs> and the ota otaku called, 
Ue Sugi smiled like an idiot. The first different expression, ex expression except his fishy eyes I've seen since I worked on this ship. Strangely, after Mr. Ryder looked at Miss Yuki, he seemed like get interested, though his expression is hard to distinguish. His face surely looked different. I couldn't help caring about Miss Yuki and regret intending to ask Captain uh, to take them in, and uh, it's really irresponsible. Okay, yeah, so it's a bunch of dudes on a boat, and they're like, Oh my god, a woman! Maybe she'll want to be my, my friend. Special friend. I don't know. It, eh. Men are weird. I didn't know why, but she already came to my mind suddenly. I want to protect her, and it suddenly grasped my mind. Yeah, I bet you want to protect her, Makino. Yeah, I bet, I bet you do. Oh, hey, my, uh, my video didn't, uh, update. You gotta be kidding me. Now I'm having problems with this. What a, what a great streaming day. Let me, uh, let me fix this here. Okay, well, that was, that was a fun adventure. Um, I, I hope that that was enjoyable. Um, I'm having weird issues with the capture card. I have reset it, so hopefully it will let me finish, uh, recording this, but we'll see. All right. Then you stay. Hey, it's working. Uh, you said uh, you said you could fish. I'll fucking put you down if you can't. So you just threatened to kill somebody because they couldn't fish. Okay. Uh, no problem, <laughs> Captain Yokote. What, Yokote? What happened? Why you suddenly change your mind? Yeah, yeah. Yuna's like this is a very bad idea, and he is right. He is right to think so. It's for your good not to tell something. Besides, I think a free worker is beneficial. Uh, that is, stop kidding. I won't agree. Yeah, I agree. You shouldn't, uh, people, people should get paid for their labor. Eh, it's okay for, oh, oh yeah, uh, we don't ask her to stay in work. She's willing to do that. If anything happens, uh, if anything happens, we are not responsible, and I won't let us assume the responsibility. Okay, sure, I'm, I'm sure the federal, uh, I don't know, the Japan's federal fish regulators are gonna be really happy about that. Okay. Before I realized the mate was beside Captain Yokota, I noticed him. He kept staring at Yuki and the child. Uh, Asukata, you jerk. How dare you talk like that? We are dispatched by a legal fishing company, or we're not supposed to do this. And, uh, yeah, you're right. You're not supposed to do that. You're not supposed to just, like, take people, because that's, that's a little thing called slavery. You're not supposed to do that anymore. I mean, the U.S. still does it, but don't tell anyone. All right, stop. I've decided... Uh, Yukode, you. Damn, alright, just go on like this. Totally a piece of shit, you guys, sooner or later. Uh, damn, excuse me. Oh, he's got, he's, mm, oh, he's mad. It seemed like Furuyora seemed to, like, realize what he was gonna say. He sighed and stopped talking. <laughs> he is exactly the same as Chef Iwata, who quarreled with Fujiwara Odate that day on the, on the canteen. Okay, yeah, I think, <laughs> this is a weird choice of words. All right, just go. Do your fucking job. This woman, let me think. Don't treat yourself as a woman now. You was, must work no less than them. Yes, because in fact, women can't work as hard as men, I guess. I, there's a slash S in my speech. Don't, don't cancel me, okay? I only got like three people who watch this. All right, don't worry. <laughs> oh, I don't worry. What? Mr. Amenamori? Eh? Ah, what? What are you doing? Take a notebook with you and a compass. Yeah, is this like a treasure on this boat? I, I don't know. Something's happening here. Uh, um, I, I am recording coordinates. Uh huh. Record that for what? For fun. Nothing, just a hobby. Hey, I'm interested. Just write something. Hey, interesting. Just write something. What about? Uh, what are you? What are you gonna do? I'm gonna walk on the deck. Well, you're still seasick. Just have more rest. Don't be so brave. Haha, ha, feel terrible. Can't rest well, so I hang around. Fine, go ahead. Man, the amount of just loafing around on this boat is extreme. Big brother. What? Who? Ah, it's you. It's Miss Yuki and the child that we found in the container. I have something to tell you on the deck, all right? Ah, okay. Whatever. I'm just hanging around. What am I? What am I gonna do? <laughs> it's just it's night. It's nighttime again, brother. Are you Makino? Ah, yes. And you? I'm Yuto Namuri. Or not na, na, um, Narumi. Na, Narumi. Ah, whatever. Yuto. Let's go with Yuto. 
Just call me Yudo. Oh, thank God. I can't pronounce any of these names. <laughs> ah, yes, Yudo. Mr. Makina, thank you for support to my sister today. I guess you fall in love with her that day. Yeah, Makino and everyone else on the boat. Yeah, it's fine. What? Don't be silly. I already have a girlfriend, but also she's not here. And also I'm alone and sad and depressed. And also there's a lot of men around and I'm not, I'm not man enough to be bisexual. All right. So uh, that's going on. Um, so yeah, makino has got that. Well, anyway, after looking around, uh, I think you're the only one that can match my sister. Okay. You know, spoke in a direct way that made me blush, but also he's a little boy. So whatever. Uh, okay. Indeed. His sister is really beautiful. We feel impulsed to talk with her. Oof. Ugh. No, you don't. You're just being weird and creepy. You're just being creepy, Makino. You're cheating hot. You're cheating hot, Makino. With <laughs> love at first sight, that's impossible. Shiori still waits for me on land. Yeah, and you better not cheat, Makino. <laughs> She's gonna find out, and then that's like oh, probably the best relationship you got that's gonna just blow up. Anyway, why do you want to stay on the ship? You don't you want to go back? We're gonna sail for seven months. Eh. My sister said it's a secret. Oh, really, eh? Come to me when you want to tell me. I really expect the secret. Anyway, they, they arranged a room next to Big Brothers, and now when they're saying Big Brothers, I think that's just like an honorific I, that is not implying a familial relationship between them, from my understanding. But I may be wrong, because I'm not playing it in, in Japanese. Uh, what, really? Oh, that room is empty before. But the room used to be a warehouse. The engine is so noisy at night, the machine oil smells so bad. Can Yudo stand it? Yeah, sure. No problem. It's the same as where we used to stay. We used to live inside of a giant engine. Uh, used to stay? Ah, sister doesn't know I sneak. I better go back, otherwise sister will curse me. Ah, oh, what a terrible sister. And also a witch. Watch out. Yeah, uh, good night. Good night, Mr. Makino. Okay. What a what a great what a great thing. This chapter is really dragging on. What? Aren't you Sayaki? You also walk here? Hey, it's Sayaki! <laughs> hey, I remember you! You're a cool dude. Uh no, I'm investigating the ship. Oh, what about the ship? Do you remember oh, wow, that was a weird pause. Do you remember that chef? The guy who shouted murder? Murder? I remember he was the chef the first day I boarded, but he is not here now. No, he is not. That night, he shouted at every room, made everybody nervous. Later, the captain scolded him, and then he stopped. Good. I am glad he stopped. It was very hard to sleep. Yeah, I was there too. Yeah, and we all we all were there. Unless you're watching this for some reason and not having seen the previous parts. It's in, like, part one. So go watch that. Uh, then he jumped down. Jumped down? Uh, uh, I really don't know that. I must have fallen asleep. Jump down where? Sh shit, it was colder that day. Lucky for him, there was a ship at the center of the sea. They saw him and saved him. The captain sent him home that night. Later, I learned that he is a psychopath, according to his family, but seldom occurred before. So his family begged the captain to resume his position. Okay. But the captain firmly denied, so Sheffy Water replaces him. And I agree... Pro the guys having mental health issues, you should probably, you know, getting getting help for that mental mental health. You, you got to think about your mental health. I think he won't act like that uh, out of no reason. Maybe something arouses his bad memory. Uh, bad memory? Maybe the ghost story that my friend Aoki, the loser, told me was true. Maybe he experienced murders on another ship. Yes, uh, ghost murders. Murder? So I'm investigating the ship. But don't find anything suspicious. Good, I'm glad. Well, just hang around. Let's go to sleep. Uh, yes, it's late indeed. Let's go back. Let's go back to sleep. Let us go to sleep. Anyway, uh, Makino, why not sleep since it's so late? Yeah, everybody's telling you to go to sleep, Makino. Get some fucking sleep. Mr. Minamori, I'm about to go to sleep. Uh, what's Was anything wrong? Uh, since you haven't slept, why not play cards with us? What the, you just told me to go to sleep, I'm in a worry. What do you want? <laughs> what do you want from me? Oh my god, just go to bed. Since you haven't slept, why not play cards with us? Otherwise, it's really boring every day, isn't it? Yeah, every day. It's really boring on this ship. It's been two days. It's been two days. Ah, uh, play cards. Don't count on me. I'm sleepy and not good at it. 
So this is the case. I plan to show you my techniques. You know they used to call me the god of gamblers until I lost all my money. Uh, well, forget it. Uh, do you have any cash? Oh, see, he doesn't have any money! <laughs> He's like, they used to call me the god of gamblers. Oh, you got any money? I really need to borrow some money. Why do you ask like that, Mr. M. anymore? It just... I wonder if you could borrow me some money. Yes, I just... God damn. Oh, I met Amori. You are a You are the god of gamblers. Oh, oh man, he needs some money. I know. I almost spent all my money on cigarette. Yes, on many cigarettes. Uh, again, plugging the other parts of the video series. He purchased like hundreds of packs or hundreds of uh, uh, cartons of cigarettes. He play He's smoking one every like ten minutes. It's crazy. I owe a lot to the cig <laughs> I owe a lot to the cigarette shop shop, so I took a little to the I took little to the ship. I have no money. I feel embarrassed to play with them. Don't worry, I'll pay back as long as I win. Well, of course, but what if you don't win? What? Then alright, but I don't have much. Just make do with it. Fine, thank you, Brother Makino. Don't mind. I'll pay back several days later. I'll win the last penny from them. Okay. Then I'll go to sleep. Be my guest. Have a nice dream, Brother Makino. Ah, uh, he's so nice. He's so he's not you're not stealing that money again, Makino. You just lost all your money to Amenamori. I knew later that they gathered to play cards and gamble every night. That kinda annoyed me, but considering that Amenamori Menamori was not a bad guy, I also didn't and also didn't take much money, I wouldn't spend any at sea, so I left him. So I let I lent him the money, and I would agree. You know, you, there's nowhere to buy like I don't know. You can't buy a Starbucks out on the ocean. Ooh. Oh, now there's talking. The fishing ship The Horizon set out from Nara on October 14th of 2017. Waters near Solomon Islands at the South Pacific for a seventh month long tuna fishing, which we must sufficiently catch some tunas. 400 tons, to be specific. Look at the sea. I really feel joyful from the beginning as the sea is boundless, but we couldn't see any lands after a long time, which made me really upset. I too would be upset, Makino. I, I am upset for you. Life at sea is really boring. You have to see the same faces and do the same work every day. It seemed to me that I kept moving rust, painting and checking the cabins and cleaning decks. For the first couple of days on the ship, I kept spitting, only get uh, better after a dozen of days. I think they mean vomiting, not spitting. That's what I think. So I think it's called seasickness because that was like part of this. Anyway, several people gathering around during the rest of the time chatted and boasted and shared everything they knew. Seldom talked when there were many people. I seldom talked when there were many people. Basically, I just listened to them. Basically, I didn't part. I basically didn't participate in their games at night. But Amenamori borrowed my money penny by penny, and he never mentioned it since then. Oh, Makino, he stole your money. You stole your money. I have no idea whether he had bad luck or was just a deadbeat, but it doesn't matter. It's not a lot of money, and I didn't worth a con contradiction, and I believe he means a conflict. Uh, fortunately, there were many interesting views, and some might never see or imagine on land. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you, you got the dolphins. You've got the humpback whale. You've got the blinding white light, and then a humpback whale again. Okay. Sister, why Makino and others don't steer closer? Uh, it's a fishing boat, you know. We can't get too close, though it's beautiful. The water uh, whales... The water whale spray can erode our skin. Is that true? Is that true? Can you lose your skin to whale spray? Oh my god! Uh, besides, we aren't able to get that close. I wondered whether Miss Yuki treated me as another younger brother of hers or not. She was enjoying the sea with Yudo, but when the child saw me finish my work, he insisted taking pictures with me. Aww. I intended to refuse, but then I realized that I also wanted to bring Shiori some more handsome pictures of mine on the ship, plus uh, the bright smile of Miss Yuki, so I agreed. But I didn't expect Miss Yuki to be such a people person. Honestly, she uh, held me and Yudo in arms in this way. My heart beat faster. Aww. Oh, they're having fun, but also, dude, you have a you have a girlfriend, and it's pretty obvious that you're like attracted to to Yuki, and I I assume you guys uh, you and Shiori are exclusive, but whatever, you know. Eh. 
No, Shiori. This is not my intention. Just force majeure. Oh, no, okay, now I definitely don't like it. Mm -mm. No, you're not compelled to, like, be attracted to people. It's not an, in, an unbeatable compulsion. Come on. Come on, get ready. I'll make one for two of you. I'll take one of this for two of you. Ah, uh, Makino, come here. Uh, this is a very... I, I'm not down with this character art of Makino. He looks a little weird. Uh, anyway, okay, we get ready. Say cheese. Cheese. Cheese say. Oh. Okay, well, they had a wonderful time on the fishing boat. There's a transform dark room on the ship, so later I can develop the photo. Oh my god, is it like a physical camera? Oh, wow. Ooh, let me have a look. Miss Yuki, are you a photographer before? Uh, nope, though I'm kind of happy being asked that way. I just do it for fun. I really love photographing. Basically, take the camera with me. Yeah. Uh, everywhere? Just take it with you, and you can take pictures. <laughs> hey, look at the guy over there. Do you know his name? Uh, Yuki pointed at Utaku, not far from us on the deck. I, th I thought his name was, like, Yuiagi or something. Uh, it seemed like he was looking for something. Oh, you mean that guy? Uh, he never talks with others. I remember his name is Tetsuya Usugi. Uesugi. That's it, Usugi, not Uyagi. My bad. Seems like he has difficulties in communicating with people. Okay, yeah, he sure does. Um, finally, on the 42nd day of our sailing, we were about to arrive at our destination and prepared for the first round of fishing the next day. Huh, I never imagined we'd develop a habit of keeping a sailing diary beyond uh, my mind in the past. That's kind of cool, though. I mean... Well, once again, it appears that the camera decided... the. Uh, capture card decided to stop working so i'm actually gonna have to end it there and uh we'll hope for the best uh in part six